Good morning and welcome to Change Pace Poetry number 61. I'm Leland Jamieson. I'm going to read three poems this morning. Uh, the first and second are individual sonnets, English sonnets. The third is a sonnet sequence. And we'll begin with Her Muscatel and Bread. Whenever he would visit her, she tasted freshly on her lips the spindrift where they met, a spur to friendship and apocalypse. Trained a marine biologist like her, he seemed a gentle soul. They needed no psychologist to see shared values and shared goal. On hands and knees in ebbing tide, they'd be delighted with a shell they'd not yet identified. He was as sweet as muscatel. But if he should suggest they wed, would they be equals breaking bread? And the second poem is called Hieroglyphs in the Binnacle. A prospective bride sails another sonnet to the groom. This is a different set of relationships. And she says, We'll launch our marriage soon, as long staunch friends who've raced the near white spindrift seas thus far, and by the binnacle we've made amends despite the well-frayed jib or splintered spar. When I'm with you, the sun is brighter, rain more sweet, and facing cold, my heart beats warm. Our special moments, highs and lows, profane and sacred, spare us still life's chloroform. My sweet, I've one last fear to lob to you. A patriarchal union, it must be that still, of man and wife, then parents too, may mutely rend our friendship with ennui. Will we still read true feelings hieroglyphs, or will we founder and float up two stiffs. And the third poem is uh, somewhat longer, somewhat more abstract and thoughtful, um, and more philosophical, I guess I'd say. This is called Persimmons, Pseudopods, and Such. Which is more worthy to live by? Romance, a dreamland in my head, or groin gland instincts close to thigh, which makes the richer planting bed, plus my reptilian brains a gland, so's limbic, neocortex too. How easily glands get out of hand deciding what is best to do. More minds, non-local, linking heads. Its resonant pseudopod projects and vibes with other pods who spreads, invisible, each intersects. So head, groin, mind, it's hard to say, given how glands all interplay. When stared at from behind, I turn. The starer's pod directs my eyes. Our eyes now touch by sight and yearn for more or none and mobilize according to intent I read as he or she acts well or odd. A friend or not. My brains exceed as sterer calls <laughs> or turns for pod. 
Back when naifs we learned to peer upon our world from cheeks of down, till sunk with puppy love or fear, we'd play so brazenly we'd drowned in mirror pools that served the throne of estrogen testosterone. Now I'm grown up. What is grown up? No ad man eats unless adroit cajoling me with training cup to juice the glands he would exploit. Testosterone fuels auto sales. Estrogen seeks out buys for women. But glands dry up as we furl sails and munch our rock-hard green persimmons. Persimmon bitter cultures pod projects against both yours and mine from birth to death. Although a fraud, it's common and thus seems benign. Its pseudopod can make us ashen, though it may school us in compassion. So those are the poems and before I leave I want to invite you to visit my website, jamiesonspoetry.com. You'll find there a library of all Change Pace poetry videos with printed texts of the poems read in the series. Or, if you want to cut to the chase, you may order in vitro at createspace.com slash 337-2169. Again, createspace.com slash Three three seven two one six nine. And so I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a splendid afternoon.